oh my goodness you guys the situation with my packing is hectic it's actually gonna get even worse than this but right now we oh, can't even see the situation oh oh bam oops <laughs> fail at blogging vlogging you see this situation you guys it's pretty bad it's gonna get even worse and big tonight probably gonna be packing till like midnight tonight so wish me luck wish me luck hi guys it's Ella for the last two days it has been my day 15 and 16 and I have been packing and I'm really sorry about this situation with like my studio lights on and it's orange because I don't have like the daylight kind of lights which really sucks if I did it would have been perfect lighting so yeah forgive me on the lights but I am so excited because I discovered a new sweetener that I can use on Whole30 which is the date syrup and of course I've been loving the date syrup for a really long time even before the whole 30 I use it all the time in a lot of my recipes but I discovered that I can use it again and I didn't realize I'm so I'm so crazy because I, I know I knew about it but I yet I, I chose not to use it for some reason it can be challenging when you're on the whole 30 you can't eat any desserts and all that stuff so I kind of came up with like a cheat sheet dessert SOS dessert help kind of thing they're not really dessert desserts but they're sweet enough to satisfy your cravings so yeah these are just been my life saver savers on top of eating dates as a whole too yeah there's they've just been my life savers and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and recipes and we're just gonna hop right into the video So the first thing that we are going to do is to get a blender and we are going to add our avocado and I'm going to add one whole avocado to make the pudding extra creamy and scrumptious. And then I'm going to add one whole ripe banana to make the pudding sweeter, but you can also add two or more bananas to make it extra sweet. And then I'm going to add one and a half big spoonfuls of cacao powder that is unsweetened. And then I made some cashew milk the other day, so I'm just going to add the leftovers of that. And that's about one fourth cup. And then we're just going to blend that all up. And if you want, you can also add a date syrup or some date syrup. One to two tablespoons is good if you want the extra sweetness. And then once you're done, you just have to pour it into your bowl and you're pretty much done. Oh, and also if you want to see the recipe for how to make your own cashew milk, I will leave that in the description down below. So make sure to check it out. It's in my other Whole30. It's one of my Whole30 vlogs. And this is optional, but I like to add a little bit of a kick at the end. So I'm just adding one to two little sprinkles of chia seed. And now all you have to do is enjoy. So I apologize in advance for the poor lighting. I was filming this kind of at night. But anywho, I am just going to add a matcha powder, one fourth cup of matcha powder, and use, uh, I can't talk to it, add some boiling water to that to make some matcha green tea, and then add it into a blender, and along with one fourth cup of cinnamon powder, and one tablespoon of raw date syrup. And all you have to do is after we just blend it all up to make our chai. And to make this chai extra creamy, add one fourth cup of ghee, which is 
approved on the Whole30 challenge, but I didn't, I wasn't really feeling it, so I didn't add it. But it's way better if you add the G, so make sure to add that if you want the full creamy green tea or matcha uh, latte feeling. And I'm just going to top it off with some extra cinnamon, as usual, I love my toppings, and just enjoy it like that. The full recipes will be on my WordPress blog very soon, so make sure to check it out in the description down below. Enjoy! So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. I will see you guys in my next video vlog very soon. I am actually going to be on the plane very soon. Stay tuned for the vlog for, stay tuned for the vlog for my traveling series. It's not really recipes, but you know, I'm going to be showing you what I eat on the plane, etc, etc, so yeah. Yep, so I'm excited and yeah. So I love you guys so much and until my next vlog, keep it healthy. See you soon, or the next time I'll see you will be in the airport slash going back home to California. So I love you guys so much and keep it healthy and until my next vlog, Keep it healthy. Yeah, I say keep it healthy too much. Keep it healthy.